very best of morning to all today we'll be solving the edit distance problem it's a medium level problem and you can solve it within a time limit of uh, 5 to 10 minutes it's actually a very important problem and if you understand it properly it's a very easy problem we'll be using a recursive approach to solve this problem first we'll develop the strategy to solve this problem For step one, basically we'll be following a recursive approach to solve this problem. As we know, every recursive solution will be having two phases. So the phase one is the base conditions, base conditions, and the phase two, which is the recursive section. So for the phase one, we have two conditions. Two for the phase one, we have two base conditions. So step one, if if the first string is empty, then m will be zero. So if m is equal to equal to 0 then obviously we need to make n changes then we need to make n changes so the code will be like so if m equal to equal to 0 then we have to return n and step 2 i just want you to understand the recursive logic just don't worry about the order of execution at all so if n equal to equal to 0 then we need to make we need to make m changes so if the second string is empty then n will be obviously empty, 0 so we need to make m changes so if n equal to equal to 0 then obviously we need to make m changes uh, so our base condition section is over. We will be moving to the recursive section. In the recursive section, step 3, step 3. If the last characters, if the last characters are same, then you need not make any changes. So you can skip it. So you need not make any changes. You need not make any changes. Any changes. You can, you can skip that character. So if s1 dot char at m minus 1 equal to equal to s2 dot char at n minus 1 then you can skip it how we are skipping is just by returning edit distance of so we have started the recursive section so edit distance of s1 s2 s1 s2 and m minus 1 n minus 1 this m minus 1 n minus 1 will help us in skipping that character so we'll be moving to the next step the final step of all so step 4 if the last character characters are not same are not same then we have to consider consider all three operations all three operations you may think which are these operations if we check in the problem description we can three there are three operations one is insert other is remove and the third is replace so so third is replace so we have to perform all those three operations and and find the minimum minimum edit of all those three operations this step might be a bit confusing uh, just practice it by yourself then you'll get a better grip on how this thing works out so edit of all these three operations so we'll be doing that now int insert equal to edit distance of edit distance of same s1 s2 n minus 1 this is how you insert m and n minus 1 that's how you insert now we have to calculate for the removal remove the inserted one so edit distance of s1 
is to m minus 1 and n you might think how this functions are called we'll uh, i mean you might think why this function is called edit distance function is a basis for our recursion so removal and we have to calculate for the replace also replace is easy you have to remove both so edit test we have to subtract both m minus 1 and n minus 1 we have to perform both m minus 1 and n minus 1 so edit distance of s1 is to m minus 1 as well as n minus 1 as simple as that replace now our task is to find the minimum of all these three things so int min is equal to math dot min of math dot min of insert or removal but math dot min is having a minor issue that it can only accept two variables at a time so what we have to do is we have to call the math min again math min of replace so this function will uh, find the minimum of uh, insert or removal and this outside minimum will find the minimum of replace and the output of this and finally we have to return one plus minimum that's it so we will start our coding since it is a recursive problem we have to write a we have to write a function so public edit distance public static why because we are calling the function inside the static mean so we need the function to the so we need the external function also to be in the static form so edit distance string s1 string s2 int m and int n that's the edit distance and we'll call the function here actually the return type is in system dot out dot print ln edit distance of edit distance of s1 s2 m n so we'll start with our implementation phase step one if m is equal to zero if first string is zero then we need to make n changes so copy that if m is equal to zero return n and we'll be moving to the second step if n is equal to zero then we need to make m changes if m if n is equal to zero then return m so our base conditions are done we'll be moving to the recursive section recursive section in the recursive section if last character is same if the last characters of both strings are same then you need not make any changes sorry you need not make any changes so you can skip that character so that's the idea and character at m minus 1 is equal to character at n minus 1 then return then skip that character then skip that character you can skip it using m minus 1 n minus 1 and moving to the final phase step 4 if last character is not same then you have to consider the three operations insert removal and replace so you can in perform insert by by passing the parameter n minus 1 we can you can perform removal by passing the parameter m minus 1 and you can perform replace by passing the parameter m minus 1 n minus 1 and you have, finally you have to find the minimum of all these operations i'll return 1 plus minimum so in this problem i am not explaining how it works in the memory i'll keep the link for a better explanation of how it works internally just understand it from a 50,000 feet above view. It's a very important problem. So keep that in mind. Now we will submit the problem. Now we'll be submitting our resolution. For some unknown reason, the java submission is showing time limit exception so i have ported the code to c++ with the same logic i'll keep the c++ solution in the comments so we'll submit the solution now and 
we got the correct answer it's a language dependency problem so thank you and have a great day